If you don't have Horizon Zero Dawn on your gaming platform, why not make it on your own? It looks like Microsoft is going to make its own Horizon Zero Dawn type of game. Let's unpack this news in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and don't forget to hit the like button. Horizon Zero Dawn is obviously a huge success for Sony and Microsoft is desperately in need of new AAA exclusives. So why not copy Horizon? I mean, during the E3 2017 press conference of Microsoft, they showed non-new AAA exclusives like Anthem, not an exclusive, as a screen is cool, but of course also on the PlayStation, and they don't count like Ori and the Will of the Wisp and the Whips. Anyway, on the other hand, we have Sony, and they can't even find the time to show all their exclusive games in an hour. Microsoft obviously wants to change that, and a job listing now like popped up that they were looking for a lead environment artist for a Microsoft AAA next-gen title similar to Horizon Zero Dawn. You see the linked post over here on the screen and it was posted by Sandor and what's interesting about him is that he is the head of recruitment at G3D and that's the company that does the recruitment for the Forza Horizon developer Playground Games. And while they're probably still working on Forza Horizon 20 or is it Forza Horizon 4? I I don't even know, but they also opened a new studio to work on an open world game that is not raising. As you know, Forza Horizon is an open world spin off to the Forza series, so for this new game, they need people with experience that they don't have. So, probably they're making a third person kind of action game in an open world, so they need people with that experience. And of course, it makes a lot of sense that if you want to make a new game and you made Forza Horizon, that you then go for an Horizon clone. I mean, you already got like half of it in your name. Okay, that's really bad, sorry. No, it makes sense for them to make a title like Horizon Zero Dawn. Like I said, they do have open world experience, but still, this is something completely else than a racing game. It was kind of the same situation with Guerrilla Games that only made first person shooters with Killzone and now switched to something completely different, a third person open world RPG. With the recruiters saying that the game is like Horizon Zero Dawn, I don't hope that they mean that it will also feature a red headed girl and robot dinos. I think it means that it's probably an action RPG in an open world, like more focus on the action, like with Horizon as well. If they straight up copy this setting though, I think that that they will they will feel it. That 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 would not be a smart choice, let's put it that way. Either way, this again shows that Horizon Zero Dawn is a huge success. I mean another company is looking at it and they want to make something like it. So yeah, it's it's really like something that people look at and think, okay. This, this is something that I want to do as well. Also cool by the way, speaking of Horizon Zero Dawn's success, is that it returned to the number one spot in the UK, so it was the best selling game of last week. And that is a little over three months after launch, so that's really huge. I do have to know that the game did get a price cut, but still, like, it shows you that Horizon Zero Dawn is pretty popular. Anyway, for more Horizon Zero Dawn, you are at the right place. Subscribe to miss nothing about this amazing game. I will do a full analysis of the Horizon Zero Dawn The Frozen Wilds DLC trailer really soon, but this came in between, so I want to do this first. Let me know what you think of this news in the comments down below. Like this video if you did, and I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.